Hey everyone, welcome to the video and welcome to Northern Divine Fish Farm. Let's get right into it. This is Coho Room. Here these trays hold the spawn for fast growth, warm. Temperatures are used here. And in this part we use colder temperatures, 1.5 degrees Celsius. And that slows the growth, keeps the spawn from maturing. And right over here we've got the sturgeon breeding. So these are two, one and a half, two year old baby sturgeons. Cute little guys they are. Probably about six to eight inches long. And I believe there's about 2,000 fish in here. So you can see this water is very clear. They're using a system that brings fresh water in from a well. It's actually brackish. Here we've got the tanks with the baby coho. So this farm only farms sturgeon and coho. They are exclusively a caviar farm. These are the new spawn. There's about 5,500 fish in this tank. And these would have been started maybe six six months ago. And in this tank, there's they have a system where they use testosterone during the brood when the eggs are developing before they've hatched, and then they create out of female eggs and all they turn female eggs into male fish, and then they create an all-female fish and this is obviously a mature fish these fish are probably two and a half to three years old and these are in uh, fresh water as you can tell and we'll skip right over we've got the sturgeon tank these ones are being farmed for the caviar so these are near maturity it's a pretty phenomenal system they've got going although they do have to kill the fish to get the eggs and then they cure them and ship them and it's pretty pretty unique system pretty unique uh, type of farming they've got going here you wouldn't see this very many places it's definitely a cutting edge program they've got going so they also produce their own brood for sturgeon They've got a special tank for that with their original breeding fish. And we'll show you that near the end of the video. This is, again, they've got these wells that provides saline water. And each tank has a UV treatment system. This is what you have going right here, and it comes through this height. Uh, the tower drops it from a certain height and adds oxygen just through the implosion effect and then they add an additional oxygen to it if necessary the, the warmer the water gets the lower the oxygen capacity and they also have to bring the pH back up because the lower pH also stunts the oxygen capacity of the water and this is a big barrel filter this thing intermittently, or maybe it spins all the time and it stopped because we were opening it up to look at it, but you can hear it spinning away in there and there's some jet spraying. And you can see a mist coming through. And then this is a biofilter, so there's some organic matters in there. Filter it up. And this is an excess flow pipe. Let's any extra water flow over. You can keep track of that. Just at glance. Now we're going into one of the closed tanks. So these are totally controlled environment, temperature, light cycle controlled, and it's a recirculated system, so you can see the water's a little bit murkier. Well, it's murky, the other one was crystal clear. So, this tank holds about 15 to 1800 fish. There's a majority of females, a certain number of males. So these ones are getting ready for harvest in upcoming fall so here we are in early spring so maybe about six months from now these will be harvested for some brood and those ones will be pulled out first 
brought to maturity and then the other ones will be harvested a bit earlier so the eggs are still firm and the ultimate texture experience for the ultimate product, the ultimate price and performance. So this whole system is all organic. It's they have bioponic systems for filtering water that's outgoing. This is the main room with all the tanks with the sturgeon. So I believe there's 800 fish in each one of these tanks. Humongous tanks, nine meters across. The fish got to be, you know, one and a half, two meters across. And they've got another one of their big bad filter systems in here. These waters are much warmer because they want to accelerate growth, so 18 degrees Celsius. And in all the tanks they have a system where minimum 10% residual feed to ensure that the fish are at maximum production. And they have a way of filtering out that food. And that part of that is a, a system of hydroponics where the plants utilize the nutrients. And in the final steps here, we've got the brood tank. So these are absolutely massive brood fish. And that's going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching. And leave some comments. Check out my channel. Just hit subscribe.